Hey everybody, Syntax77 here, back with you in the old editing bay here, if you will. And I uh, just want to do another edition of Sin Chats. And for this week's topic, I wanted to talk about something I've been doing, or my wife and I have both been doing for the last few, I almost said few days, but I think it's been a couple weeks at least. And that is looking into a new ultralight backpack. Uh, not for me, but for my wife. Now, a lot of uh, my viewers are more experienced than I am, so I'm hoping maybe some of you can help me out, um, steer me in the right direction, and then maybe I can get a little uh, conversation going as well, and um, you know, we'll take it from there. So what's basically been going on is in last two trips that my wife did, she went ahead and used the pack I usually use, which I will continue to use. I love it which is why I'm not looking for a new pack, um, is the Osprey Hornet 46. And they no longer make this. Uh, it's a pound and a half. I really like it. I, I got a whole gear list video, the 2015 gear list video, where I go into in-depth, and you can see this bag a lot. So I, I won't go too far into it. But I do like this pack. Um, when I was buying, based on my torso size, I was right between medium and large, and I went for the medium as confirmed by that tag there. Um, I went for the medium and, you know, looking back, I might have been able, I could probably get away with the larger one. It um, could be a little longer for me, but the plus side of that is it works on my wife just fine. And she was able to try it out. And what she learned from that was that she really likes using a smaller pack, a lighter pack, now that she's gotten her weight down. Because originally, her very first trip to the White Mountains, Back in 2009, oh my God, <laughs> I'm not exaggerating. I, I was actually surprised by how heavy this thing is. I often forget, and I just had it, um, getting it from downstairs to set up for this video, and I checked it like four times to make sure it was really empty. And it is. It's a beautiful pack, don't get me wrong. I'm not bashing it. It's a Gregory uh, Diva, and it's a 60, I believe. No, it's a Diva 70, good Lord. All right, Diva 70, it weighs like, six pounds at least it might be six point something pounds which is insane um, considering that um, she got her base weight down to around 10 ish 11 ish pounds when she went out on that trip with me so that means that doing the math you know she's her, her weight was only around eight pounds of gear um eight or nine pounds and this uh weighs like three quarters of that so th it just doesn't make sense for her anymore um again Great pack. There's not like there isn't a reason for a heavy duty pack like this. It's super comfortable at really high weights. So if you cram this thing full, like both of us used to do when we first started, it'll still be comfortable with all this really heavy hip belts and pads and suspension and stuff. But nowadays, eh, not so much. So we will uh, put this to the side and literally and figuratively and uh, move on. Now, again, this is a 46 liter. So here's kind of the criteria that my wife's looking for and what we've been studying. Um, in her own words, she wants no more than two pounds, which is a little challenging. Um, I actually have not been able to find much that isn't crazy expensive that's under the weight of my Osprey uh, Hornet there at a pound and a half. Two pounds is doable though, but it does, you know, set the bar at a pretty decent level and knock a lot of stuff out. So she wants a, a maximum weight of uh, two pounds. I would say, from what I told her and what we've been looking at, um, definitely no less than 40 liters. And where we're at after a lot of research and uh, looking around the web and everything, um, we've been looking at the Ohm, the ULA Ohm 2.0 which weighs right around two pounds. Um, so it's right in the old criteria there. And um, we've also been looking at, it's kind of been like a standoff between these two. We've also been looking at Gossamer Gear's backpack called the Gorilla, the Gossamer Gear Gorilla. It's right at, it's actually a little less. It's 26 ounces for a medium and it's a 40 liter. And comparing the two side by side, they look like they're basically the same size. Although the Ohm by ULA, actually says it has a capacity of like 60 some liters, but it seems kind of weird when you look at them. So when I looked into it, it turns out that they don't use what's pretty much the industry standard for um, measuring volume. And I guess uh, that standard is you usually don't measure open mesh pockets, like say the side ones on here. So once I subtracted those from the Ohm's volume, because they provide it on the site, 
Um, sure enough, it came the 44, 43 liters. So they're very similar. My wife's kind of leaning towards the Gossamer gear for aesthetics. She said that she's going utility first here, but she does admit um, and is honest that you know aesthetics are important. Um, so if that's a tiebreaker, that's probably where we're gonna go. Um, the Ohm also doesn't have a, a flipping top pouch, which I think she would get used to, but she does say it's a minus. So um, price-wise, neither one are exactly in the price range she wants to spend, but you know, you do what you gotta do. It's been years, but um, the Ohm is 200 and the Gorilla is actually 235. So kind of a ding for, or I should say a plus for the Ohm. One thing I'll point out though, on this 46 liter, what I did notice when my wife was packing it up, um, she's come a long way in getting her weight down, but um, it's mostly through just reevaluating what she's bringing and multi-purposing stuff and things like that. Um, we have got her into a hammock now and some under quilts, so that helps as well. But she's still using a lot of um, the same clothing she always has, which is effective, but not necessarily so light um, weight or mostly uh, volume is a challenge for her because she has a lot of fleece and layers and stuff like that. Whereas I backpack a little more, so I've justified over the years buying more compressible down jackets and, and things of that nature. So when she was packing this, she got it done and she was fine, but it was, you know, it was about not a whole lot of extra comfort level there. So I'm a little, I was a little on the fence, skeptical about her getting in a 40, but a lot of people seem to do it and be happy with it. Um, she might just have to adapt. But then I was over at my friend Mike's house and I must have inspired him with all my research and blabbing recently because he went out, <laughs> beat me to it, and he got himself a lightweight pack at EMS with some coupons he had and then he actually picked one up for his wife as well. Um, it is a Osprey. Also, but it's a different brand or uh, different model. I forget which Osprey it is, but long story short, he got her a 40 liter ultralight pack. It weighs like two and a half pounds, I would say. Um, and she's a little shorter, so she had to get a smaller one. So technically it's actually 38 liters, but basically a 40 liter. And when I saw it in person, I got a little skeptical that that would be fun for my wife to try to cram all her stuff in. Um, I know that the old adage is, and I often preach it too, buy yourself a smaller pack um, and you'll have less opportunity to sabotage yourself, right? Because you, you know, you're just cramming it because the space is there. Human nature um, kind of kicks in. So I do like the idea of giving her something smaller so she doesn't even have the ability to go crazy, but I also don't want it to be a complete chore for her, um, especially since she still hasn't upgraded all her gear to fancy, super fancy stuff. So that being said, um, was on Gossamer Gear's site and then saw they made something called a Mariposa. So I started looking into that. So I don't know if any of you out there have one of those. Um, we've been looking at, it looks like they made some changes for 2015 and we're kind of digging that. It's um, 60 liters instead of 40. So it's only 10 liters shy of her Gregory Monster and it's 20 liters more than the Gorilla. Um, but it's only two pounds. So that's actually a half pound lighter than uh, whatever that one that um, I was talking about that Mike's wife had. A half pound lighter than that, but um, can cram an extra 20 liters of gear in there. And so I'm thinking that might be better for her because we go, we do go in shoulder seasons. So we like to bring stuff for cooler weather. Um, and then I figure when she does go in warmer weather or when she gets her weight down and to lower volumes, then, you know, from it looks like you can still cinch it down and, and use it with 40 liters a year and it won't be the end of the world. So it's kind of where we're at. Um, also have looked at Z-Packs. I think I can see myself going that route someday, but um, uh, you know, when, when Sarah looked at it, uh, my wife um, kind of seemed like that might be a little overkill for her, a little more hardcore than she wants to get. Uh, they're really nice Cuban fiber packs. They obviously have a higher starting point. And then once you start adding the add-ons and stuff, which is so hard to resist, um, you can really get the price up there. They're also a little more alien looking, which is fine with me, but um, I think she kind of likes the look of some of the slightly more commercial bags. But yeah, what else? Um, yeah, that's really where I'm at is uh, I think we're leaning Mariposa or still possibly Ohm 2.0 or the Gorilla. And then also speaking of the Mariposa, ULA has an answer to that as well. It looks like the circuit, 
but it's up to like 41 ounces. So you're talking 2.56, almost two and two thirds pounds. And that's just above the old two pound criteria. So um, I think the Mariposa kind of beats it on that. But if any of you have experience, maybe, maybe there's a brand that I have not even brought up and um, you're just screaming at the screen right now. Stop screaming, start typing, and um, give me a heads up if you don't mind. And for those of you who um, are kind of new to, to the lightweight thing, hopefully maybe I got some gears turning and uh, some, some thought progressing in your mind as well. So yeah, that's what's going on this week, doing a little backpack shopping because um, it's gonna be a couple months, but my wife will be coming out on the trail with me again and hopefully we'll have a good time. I think Mike and his wife are gonna come as well, or I know they're gonna come. So yeah, that'll be a good time. That's what's going on over here. So uh, I guess I'll see you next Monday. Till next time, I'm Syntax77. Have fun out there. <laughs>